Welcome, I'm the Word Nerd, and in this video, we're going to do a book introduction for the Gospel of John. So let's dig deeper. Basically, I'm giving you all the information you need to know before digging deeper into the book or the Gospel of John. I call this the background information. Background information is the first step of studying the Bible, specifically verse mapping or doing a book study, which we both do on this channel. We're going to be following my how-to verse mapping guide and also using the template that goes with it. If you want to understand how to use all of the template and not just background, I have videos explaining that. However, both the guide and the template are both free PDF downloads on my website will be linked in the description for, for you. If you are interested in how I got this information, an in-depth how-to get this information, there will be a link of that video in the description as well if you're interested in that. This video, we're just going to kind of give you a little bit information about how I got those things and, but not really in depth. Other background information. So we're gonna grab the background information template and each box is a different thing that we're going to find. Um, so we have author, who is this written to? What is the literary style? When was it written? Do we know where it was written from? Do we know it was it written to a specific location? Any cultural background information we have. And then I have a space to write down any references that you used for the information. I think that's um, always good to include. So we're just going to write John on the top in the line since this is the background information for John and you only gather background information once per book of the Bible so if you ever verse map another verse in John this is still the same verse mapping or this is the same background information that you'll use or to keep in mind um, so you only have to do 66 uh, background information sheets and you'll be good to go so how we know the author of the Gospels is a little bit different than most of the other books because they were anonymous. Their names wasn't written in them. Um, but we know this by the early church fathers. I will leave a link to this website that you're seeing me use in the description so you can check them out. Um, there's a lot, but I definitely think it's important to read the Church Fathers. Um, you can see, really see how the first and second century uh, centuries really believed. So I have read parts of them and know where the Church Fathers did mention who wrote the Gospels and specifically the Gospel of John. So the author is John, the son of Zebedee, the disciple of Jesus. And we get this information from Tertullian in his fourth book, Irenaeus in his third book, and I cannot say this word, I'm going to try, the Moratorian fragment? I can't, I don't, I'm not sure if I, I probably didn't say that right. Um, but anyway, they all mention that John is the author of John, and we have no other tradition within the church. So w we pretty much know it was John. Now, when was this written? Most say it was written between 66 and 96 AD. Most are saying um, probably 85 to the 90s, um, but most say that he probably wrote it after 70 AD, which is after um, the destruction of the temple. Um, so, then who is this written to? Um, for me, in chapter 20 and verse 31, really says... You know, he wrote this so you may believe. And it's whoever is searching for truth, whosoever, right? John 3, 16. I really think John wrote his gospel for whoever wants to know the truth and Jesus is truth. When was this, where was this written? Um, Irenaeus, one of the early church fathers, says that John wrote it from Ephesus in Asia Minor. So I put that down. And then the literary style is a historical narrative. A uh, historical narrative is just history in story form. And then we have location. He didn't really write to a location. He wrote to people, so we don't have anything for that. And then cultural information. Uh, Romans ruled with military using heavy taxation and subjugation to keep people in line. Many became in poverty, and there were four options for Israel to respond to the empire. Um, 
One was compromised, like the Sadducees did. Um, they get something out of it. Number two was acceptance, but ready to challenge in the injustice, um, but being nonviolent. Number three, nonviolent rejection of Roman rule in general. And number four, violent rejection. Uh, this option eventually leads to the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, as I mentioned. And then I have a place to write down any references um, that you use to gather this information. I just think that it's um, really good to have those references. You know, people ask about them and, you know, you might want to remember where you got the information as well. You know, I, saying, oh, I found it on that one website that one time is, <laughs> is not always the best for you or for anyone else. I know it bugs me sometimes when I don't have exactly where I found the information from. Um, so I have a place for that. And I wrote down all my references. So this basically is all the information that I think that you need to start digging deeper into the Gospel of John. I hope you are inspired and encouraged to dig deeper. If you want to know how to fill out the rest of the verse mapping template, check out my other video. Uh, remember, God loves you and he's always with you. And I'll see you in the next one. God bless.